Hello, princesses and princes of Python. Uh, perhaps up until this point, you have already followed our drum machine tutorial so that you've been playing audio files on the CPB, and you might want to take your own files and play them on the CPB as well. Now, you can't take very large files. You can't take uh, songs and play them. The files actually have to be in a very specific format. And to give you a sense of the amount of space that we have, well, I'm going to take a look at my CPB here. If you double click on it here in my Mac, I'm showing things in list format, and I can see all of my sound files end in .wav, they're WAV format files. And I can see they're pretty small, 27K, 11K, that's not big at all. If you're wondering how much space do you have on your CPB, well, I'm gonna click on my CPB and on the Mac, I can do a command I, and this tells me that I have 2.1 megabytes of storage, but I only have 590 kilobytes left. Now that's still quite a bit for a few files if I wanted to put more audio files on there or longer audio file, all of that is possible. But let's go ahead and create a new file. If you don't have your own file or you want to record your own voice or an, your own sound, there are a bunch of different ways we can do that. I'm going to show you a website where we can go ahead and create MP3 files. So this one that says online-voice-recorder.com is a free website. If you've never used this before, when you click on the record button right here in the middle, the browser will ask you, is it okay for this website to access your voice recorder? And I've used this before, so I'm not going to see that question come up, but obviously if you want to use this website to record your voice, you've got to say yes. So I'm going to record um, just myself saying something goofy that I had in my Talking Halloween Head project that uses the CPB that I posted online. Hey, you. So here we go. I'll try to repeat that. Hey, you. Hey. Now I can play over here. Hey, you. And if you want to edit it down a little bit, like you don't want, uh, you don't need a lot of the space where you're not saying anything, you can just click on these blue lines and drag them either way. And when you're ready to save, you just click on the save button. You can save that wherever you want and give it whatever name you want. So I'm going to call this Hey You, um, but I'll click on save, save it to my desktop, and I've got this file saved. Now, uh, in order to use files on the Circuit Playground Blue Fruit, you need to set them up in a specific format. You need them to be in a WAV or WAV format. They have to be mono and not stereo files. They need to be 22 kilohertz or 22,000 hertz or lower and 16 bits or lower. Now that might not mean anything to you and that's okay. The steps to convert the files are actually pretty straightforward and easy and the software for Mac and for Windows is free. Now if you want to follow these things along step by step by reading instead of watching the video, you can search on the internet for the Adafruit site for convert files in Audacity and that'll tell you how to download the software and to use this. But if you want to follow along here in the video, you can simply go to this site audacityteam.org, click on download Audacity and you have uh, options for the Mac or the Windows, even a Linux format it, if you'd like. So I'm gonna assume that you've already downloaded and installed Audacity, but I'll show you how you can work with it. I'll launch my version of Audacity right now. And when you launch it, click OK. Under the file menu, select open, and then open whatever file you wanna work with. Now I'm gonna open a file that's a little bit different from the file that I just recorded. Um, and that's because this particular file is recorded in stereo. And I wanna show you what that looks like. So the CPB doesn't want things in stereo for a left and right speaker. It wants them in mono for only one speaker. The way you convert from stereo to mono is you go up under where it says track, you select mix, and you can select mix stereo down to mono. Now, if you already see that it's just one track, then you don't need to worry about mixing it down. But if you do happen to have the left and right track, you can do what I just did here. Now, you also need to have it set to 22 kilohertz. In the lower left-hand corner, it says that this file is currently 48 kilohertz. It's 48,000 hertz. The K is for 1,000. So then you can just go down here, select 22,000 kilohertz. And the last thing that we need to do is to save it as a WAV file. So I'm going to go under the file menu. I'm going to select export. I'm going to export it as WAV or WAV. Uh, it shows and verifies up here. It's a WAV file in 16-bit format. You can give that whatever name you want. I'm going to make sure that I save this on my desktop and click on save and click OK. And by the way, you can listen to this right now if you want. Hey, you! You can hear how it sounds. And if you decide, hey, I want to get rid of some of the extra space that I've got in here too, if you just click and drag to highlight, then you can do uh, Command X, which is your cut command here. And you can see how I'm making the file smaller. So if you happen to be working on a song, but you just want a little bit of the song, you can go ahead and trim your file that way as well. And again, just make sure that you go ahead and you re-export the file after you do any edits. Uh, I've got the file in the format that I want, so I'm just going to quit out of here. And I'm not going to save this, but it would create an additional Audacity file, and I don't need that. 
And here are a bunch of different files, but the heyu.wav file is the file I just created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over into CircuitPython. And I guess I already had one here when I was practicing before, so I'll click on Replace. Yours probably doesn't say that. And we've got the file now on CircuitPython, so we can try this out if we want. I just opened up Moo here, and uh, this is the last file that I was working on. The code I have in here conveniently is the code for the drum machine. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up toward the top where I created my drum samples list. And I'm going to add the file name that I just created as the first element in that list. Hey underscore u dot wav. And then I'll just put in a comma in here. Uh, I'm going to click on save. I've got my CPB connected to my speaker here so that you can hear it a little bit louder. But if I click on A1 now or touch it, hey you, hey you, hey you. It works fine. So now you know how to set up your own audio files for use in CircuitPython. Have at it.